this is a post for uh, setting up your Twitter cards. And what Twitter cards are, are their meta tags that help uh, your content display nicely in um, Twitter. So you can kind of control what things look like. So uh, I, at first I tried doing this like just kind of hacking it together and it didn't work, but I'm going to show how it worked. It's not hard. Um, so if you look right here, these are all the Twitter uh, meta tags that matter that I found that make it work. Um, so the first one we're talking about is site, and this is just your uh, handle on Twitter. Um, the next one is your account ID, and what I what there is is there's actually something called a Twitter card validator that exists on Twitter.com. It's at this URL, and you have to go here to sign in and go here, and and it's a good idea to test your uh, the web page you're making the cards for. I actually make it. I recommend this is something that should be in the post. You should make a test page and before just doing it to anything because what happens is this is a key point. If you if you screw up your Twitter cards, sometimes I've noticed that stuff will get cached for a while and so you'll have like an ugly looking card that you don't want going out in the public. So you kind of want to validate it on a test page first before you get it right. Anyway, you got to use this validator. Um, so basically, you put your your meta tags in here and. Um, you save it, upload it to your server, and then test test the, the the URL here to see what your cards are doing. So this this is how this page looks, um, and it's going to ask for one of the the meta tags we need is the account ID, right? Which is this one. So this is the second meta tag. You get this in your Twitter settings. So you go to you, you go to settings, your Twitter data and then you grab this ID okay uh, the next one is uh, the Twitter title and description uh, tag which you would just pull from your own title and description up here here's the title and here's the description so you just repeat it down here but you gotta use this tag um, this one I found that this one works well I just I think there's different variations of this this is where it gets a little more detailed but for for most people this is all you need to do is summary large image um, if you're gonna do other media like videos or other like gifts maybe you want to maybe look into what how you want uh, what tag you want to use for this one this will kind of change how the, your Twitter tweet uh, looks and displays this controls that and finally this is actually the most important one <laughs> is this is the artwork uh, for the image and I I think that 1200 by 630 pixels is a good dimension and I'll show you um, Where I actually put I uploaded all my images here And this is that image So it's going to display this image which is hit this Okay, so I wanted to do a post on this just to kind of show people uh, how to do it. Um, it's not too hard to do. Uh, if you try to hack it sometimes, it doesn't work, but you got to use the validator. And you should always use the validator to make sure you're getting what you want uh, to look right.